It is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop and uh, there's a few knots that you need to know when you're just starting off fly fishing. And so I'm gonna go over those knots for you. We're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna learn the double surgeon's loop knot, the double surgeon's knot. Uh, these are both really similar. One's to make a loop in the line, the other one's to connect two pieces of line together. So your leader to tip it. And then the last one is gonna be an improved clinch knot to tie on the fly to the end. So here we go. Okay, for the first knot, we are gonna tie a double surgeon's loop knot. And so what you do is you take your, take your line and you're gonna fold the line in half uh, just to make a, uh, a small loop. And now this loop is gonna be the kind of the working end. This is the part that, that moves. So I take, I pinch the line where the, uh, the long, long piece and the tag end are, and I take that loop and I make an overhand knot and I go through that loop twice. Like that, it's gonna make a little figure eight as you pull it down. I like to put like a hemostats or a tool. Um, sometimes if the loop's big enough, I can use my, my pinky to pull on it, but you wanna get the, the knot nice and snug, you can trim off the tag end and, um, and all good. So. This is great for loop-to-loop -loop connections, especially connecting the fly line to the leader um, butt section. Okay, so if I have two loops and I wanna make a loop-to-loop -loop connection, I can pass one loop over the other one. I can grab the tip of that line, push it through that loop, and then pull it all tight. Kinda of makes a little figure eight here as they connect and then that little I want to see those lines connected like that that means that they're connected the right way and that's going to be a really strong way to connect the line so this works for the leader to um, leader to fly line connection but it's also great for um, maybe rigs that you need to change out um, or uh, maybe just connecting uh, large uh, difference in diameter. So if you're tying really heavy stuff to lighter stuff, that might be a little bit better because the double surgeons doesn't hold well uh, when you're using a light and heavy uh, diameter line connected. Okay, here I have two pieces of line and I'm going to connect these two pieces with a double surgeons loop. And so first I have to decide what my moving piece is gonna be. Um, I think of it as kind of like the, the lead. And so this piece here is gonna be my leader that I'm assuming is fixed to my fly line. And this is gonna be my tippet that I'm gonna to wanna to connect. So I'm going to um, cross these two pieces and I'm gonna I'm going to hold the line uh, here where the leader uh, is um, toward the end of the leader and I'm gonna have this long piece of tippet hanging off of it here. So, that means that the end of the leader and the long part of the tippet are gonna be my moving pieces. So I'm gonna take this tag end and that long piece of tippet and I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna make a loop with both pieces going through the loop. So you have to pull that little tag end through and then you have to, then you have to pull the long piece through as well, like that. And this is 30 pound test. So it's gonna, I'm using thicker pound tests here for demonstration purposes, but it will be um, you know, a little bit easier to do with lighter stuff. So when you pull it down, it's gonna make this figure eight. And that's one of the ways that you know that the knot is being tied correctly. So I always wick, lick my knots to, to lubricate them so they slide into place a little bit better. But for this purpose, I'm just going to cinch it down. Okay, now for the improved clinch knot and for demonstration purposes, I'm just using a large tarpon fly and I would normally tie a large fly like this with a, uh, a loop knot. And so check out our, our other video for the loop knot on how to do that. But for trout flies, dry flies, nymphs, um, I use the, the improved clinch knot. And so um, the way to tie this uh, improved clinch knot is to run the line through the eye of the hook twice 
that makes a little loop. And then I kind of, I hold my, in the hand holding the fly, I hold that loop. If this looks backwards, it's because I'm left-handed. So um, lefties unite, this video is for you guys. <laughs> so I hold that and then um, sometimes I'll hold the leader straight just to be able to kind of keep everything, um, keep everything taut and tidy. And then I just, uh, I'll use that tag end to wrap around the line. And then here's the critical part. There's two loops now off the front of the eye of the hook that I've created. And I'm just gonna pass the line back through those two loops. And, and then I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna wet my knot and then pull that down so it's straight. And it'll, once it, if it's tied correctly, they'll, it'll have like a little barrel look to it. The, um, the big thing is pulling it slow so that the material doesn't burn itself with from the friction. And, and then that's why wetting it is good so it can uh, cinch down in place. So we tie that knot, we lick it, we pull it slow and we pull it hard so it cinches all up nice and tight. If the knot isn't, isn't seated correctly, um, it can break it. I mean, that's you hook a fish or you, you have a snag or something like that and then and you You put tension on that line and you can pop the knot So having it cinched down is going to be is going to be pretty critical Thanks for joining us today to learn some different knots uh, check out our YouTube channel. We have other um, other instructional things on there and um, We hope that it's really helpful make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get all the updates with what's going on. Thanks